For many people, Sir Bob Sinclair is the owner of the Leigh International Hotel and Leigh Builders. But Sir Bob has seen Leigh City grow from a small town to the city it is now. And everybody says, oh, Sir Bob, you're lucky because you got here early, before independence and all this sort of thing. Believe me, there is more opportunity today than what there was then. As a builder, he came from Australia in the 1960s. He laid the concrete for the country's longest bridge over the Markham River. He also built the Goroka Hospital and the Volcano Observatory on Manam Island, all before independence. He says Papua New Guineans have to see the positives and be proud of the achievements over 41 years. My age now, I, I want to see the younger generation get have the opportunity of making our own road for success with our own resources and we have the resource and we should we should be managing our resource no one else we should be managing our resource it's ours but why are we giving it away and that's what's happening we're giving you know just giving it away Sir Bob says one of his proudest achievements was sending the schoolboys rugby league team to Russia where they won bronze. And I still remember the remark that I said in 2002 that by 2015 I hoped that we could beat Australia. We're still trying but we will get there. 41 years on, Sir Bob says he has no intention of retiring just yet and when the time comes, he says, he wants to be buried in Lay City. I've lived in Lay, I've lived in, in, in Papua New Guinea most of my life now and I'll die in Papua New Guinea. Uh, I'm, that's, that's, I'm not going anywhere. Scott Wyday, National MTV News, Lay.